a été publiée il n'y a pas très longtemps une information qui annonce la fin possible de notre humanité. About three years ago, Sarah came to me when I was pregnant and told me about this study. It said that my son would grow up in a world where food, water and oil will be hard to find. I was running a non-profit when we met. How could we tell people about what we'd heard when they're already fed up with catastrophes? And how could we tell millions of people? We had to do something. So we traveled around the globe, looking for the men and women who are offering creative alternatives. It's always so hard. We didn't start with, shall we save the planet? Because that was too grand. We just start with where we are. There is no perfect democracy or economic models, but what seemed to emerge from our journey was a new vision for the world, where each community is more autonomous, therefore more free. We're doing everything with a small territory. You can produce more than with a tractor on a territory 10 times bigger. San Francisco has an 80% landfill diversion rate. Everything is reduced, reused, and recycled or composted. These people are writing a new story. They're saying it's not too late, but we have to get moving. Now. Now we vote, we govern. Start looking around, you will get it all the open all the sign. There are solutions, and if we give it everything we've got, if we all join our forces and hearts, we can all start to change the world. Tomorrow. Uh, in Tottenham, we have a 21 pound note. Kind of 21. Because you can. Why not? <laughs> 